Hi there, this is another video on how to create kicks. This time it's using Adobe Edition. So you just go File, New, set it to 44.1, Mono, 32-bit floating, and we end up with this blank new page. What we need to do is go to Generate and select Tones. Now we'll start with 40 hertz. we'll leave everything else as it is, Turn up the volume to 0 dB and hit OK. So now we have a 40 Hz sine wave, which sounds like this. OK, now what we do is go to Effects, go to Time and Pitch, and we're going to use the Pitch Bender to create a percussive envelope, if you like. So we'll change the range to 24. Make sure your quality level is on perfect. And then we can preview that. Okay, it's still the same. This is where we shape the envelope. So what we want to do is bring this up to here. And bring this down to here. Oh. As you can see, the semitones are here. So plus 24, minus 24. So it's going from plus 24 dB, eh, semitones down to minus 24. So if I hit OK, you'll see the waveform changing. And I'm just going to cut it up to about a second, just delete that. So if we preview that. OK, so we go back to effects, back to time and pitch, back to pitch bender, preview it again, just leaving it as it is. OK, that. OK, we've got a more severe envelope now and we're just going to shorten it again to about 045 okay excellent back to effects back to time and pitch back to pitch bender and we'll just change that to 12 semitones or one octave and we'll preview it now okay now depending on whether or not you want that high pitched start you can come in and if you just click you can start to draw extra nodes preview we'll okay that i like that i'll just shorten it again around about 45 preview that it's quite a nice kick already go to the end about 34 something like that come up to favourites and select fade out so now you won't get the click at the end and I'll just loop it so even if you just like that file save as and save your kick so I'll just save that as kick 4 so as you can see it's very easy but to change your kicks you just keep going to time and pitch using the pitch bender process I'm going to take it down to 6 semitones now Let's have a listen. That is a lovely kick. I'm just going to take out some of the trailing edge. And you can still shape it more and more as you like. Okay. And effects again, time and pitch, pitch bender. Okay, that, but it's a bit too long now. I'm going to cut that end bit off. And I'm going to fade it out. Look that. It's another nice one, I'll save that. Kick five. Okay, so you can just keep doing that and get as many kicks as you like. Getting harder and harder. Again, you could maybe even change that to just three semitones. It's not really making much difference now because the semitones don't really make that much difference down this low. 
but you can see it's very very easy to create kick drums you can do the pitch bending as many times as you want you can use whatever semitones you like for instance if I wanted to now take that back up a pitch if I change that to let's just for fun change it to 48 semitones as you can see it's far too much 24 There's some deep, deep, if I OK that, there's some deep kicks. As you can see, it's far too long now. So again, around about 45, cut it off to the end here, fade it out. But it's too low, it's got that. Let's just cut that out. Put in a fade. You could really hear the the uh, the bottom end coming in then. And that's a really short one, but again, we could save that. Now I'm just going to undo quite a lot of this. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Now you could use other tools to further shape this now. If you come into Effects, go to Amplitude and Compression, and go to Envelope Process, you now have an envelope in here that you can draw in. There's some presets, obviously because the attack's been removed. So as you can see, it's very, very easy. And <clears throat> now that I've done these, I'll just show you what they sound like. So I'll just kill that. I'll just open Cubase up. Okay, so here's Cubase. I've got a, a bass line. Okay. And what I've done is I've opened up contact and I've I'll show you exactly what I'll do. File, new instrument, just open it up, open the mapping editor, go to where I saved all my kicks. So we'll just refresh that. Select them all. And I can just drag them in here. Drop them on C3 or wherever you like your kicks to be. And then I can listen and see what one works the best. Okay, so as you can see, I've got them on C3, C sharp, D, D sharp, etc. So I can now just move my kicks up and see what one I like. favourite one. It goes with this bass. It's almost kind of tuned in straight away and it was on D3. So I'll just come in here, magnify that a wee bit and I'll just delete that one, that one, that one, that one and that one. And that leaves me with... And of course because it's in contact I can tune it if I like. That sounds okay to me. So there you go. Uh, nice and easy to do it in Adobe Edition. I hope you learned something for that and enjoy the video. And um, go to the website and enjoy some of the more, some of the other free videos. Thanks for watching.